Off field. The left. What I want. I love the way she rocked it. I love the way she move it, move it, shake it, oh man, when she cry for him, the shawty is a winner, you can tell that shawty love with can I, she's confident, I love the way she move it. YouTube, what's going on? It's Juan Gotti here. We another Washington Commanders video. And in today's video, I'm coming on here with the video, but we're going to be talking about Ron Rivera announcing that he will be benching Sam Howe and starting Jacoby Brissett for the final two games of the Washington Commanders regular season. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. But before we do, make sure you guys go down below, leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new, turn on post notifications so you get notified when I upload new videos like this to the channel. Also, subscribe to Juan Gotti TV as I will be keeping you guys up to date on my written real life journey that I am about to partake in. So with that all out the way, let's go ahead and get to today's video. Shout out to my guy, Tony P56. We chopped it up for about an hour. He had, you know, gave me some great advice. So, if Tony P, if you out there listening, man, shout out to you. You the real MVP, man. And I appreciate you for taking time out your day to talk to a young fella. Now, let's go ahead and get to this clown, Ron Rivera. So, Ron Rivera, as we pretty much figured, has announced that he will be benching Sam Howe for the final two games of the season. And he is going to be starting Jacoby Brissett for whatever reason. Now, at this point of the season, what, what sense does it make? Um, because all he's going to do is potentially ruin our draft capital. Now, I don't think Jacoby Brissett is going to win versus the 49ers nor the Cowboys, but he has a better chance of doing that right now than Sam Howe, and I don't like that at all because Washington needs to be in a position to draft a young quarterback or whoever they want to take at the top five, top three position that they could potentially be in if they finish the season four and 13. Um, Ron Rivera does it again. He strikes again. Um, the guy, he just, he's just so clueless, man. He just doesn't get it. He says he committed to Sam Howell to start the season. Uh, that's his guy. He found his franchise quarterback, and then he turned on him, benched him, and 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 you want to save him. He says he he's doing this to save Sam Howell, bro. It's too late to save Sam Howell. You already ruined him. Right? It, this isn't week nine. Week eight, Washington still in the thick of things in the NFC. And if you think we get some type of spark from the quarterback position, then we could potentially make a run at this thing. It is week 15, brother. It's week 15. The season's done. It, it don't matter. Right? Or well, week 16, matter of fact, I should say. Week 16 doesn't matter, bro. The season's done. So it, to save him from himself, you don't want him to continue to get battered and hit and, and mess up, bro. It doesn't matter anymore, bro. It really doesn't. So, me, in my personal opinion, it doesn't make no difference to bench Sam Howe. But to the players, they want to win. They want to find a way to finish the season strong. So, they think Jacob Brissett gives them the best opportunity. Whatever. I don't think so. I think this is going to show a lot of Washington fans out there that Jacoby Brissett, if he would have started the full season, nothing would be different. Would we be 7-10? and 10? Would we be 6-11? and 11? We would be 8-9 probably, but we would miss out on the playoffs. It wouldn't be no different. Jacoby Brissett is a backup quarterback. He's a solid guy. But if you think, just saying, Jacoby Brissett playing this whole season, we would be much better than what we are with Sam Howe. That's absolutely crazy. Some of the plays that Sam Howe made early on in the season, i.e. that for that uh, that Patriots scramble, somehow he turned a third and 27 into a first. Now, Jacoby Brissett isn't doing that. If Jacoby Brissett played behind this same offensive line for the whole season, he would be in the same situation as Sam Howe. Obviously, he's coming off of a he's coming off of the guy like, oh, how is he able to come into the game and he's making throws that Sam Howe couldn't? Obviously. First of all, he's a seasoned veteran. That's one. Second of all, he hasn't been getting bruised and beat up and bantered like Sam Howe has all season. So it's obvious. And we're coming from a low point. When Sam Howell gets benched, we're at a low point, so any kind of spark is going to be better than what we were at. So it's going to obviously look like Jacoby Brissett is just this savior. When in fact he's not. If that was the case, he would not have. Now he wouldn't be on. He wouldn't be on a millionth team by now. He wouldn't be on his a millionth team if he was just that that good. Now I fully expect Jacoby Brissett to obviously look better than Sam Howell, but he's not going to get the win, and I hope he doesn't get the win because you're messing up our draft capital. But again, we're fans, so obviously we're looking at it from fan standpoint. For them, they think Jacoby Second do whatever. But 
<sighs> uh, in my opinion, man, it just doesn't make any sense. Um, you already done ruined the young fella. You might as well just let him go out there and play the last two games. Um, especially at this point in time where he probably gives us the best chance to secure a top pick. Jacoby Bissett has a threat of potentially pulling out one of these final two games. Um, and, and all I hope... All I hope for this move is that it gets Terry closer to a thousand yards. Now I highly doubt he gets a thousand yards this season, unfortunately, because he's sitting at um eight eighty five. So maybe maybe he can get a thousand yards if he somehow gets a hundred in the final two games, maybe, but I think he'll fall just short. So that's the only thing that I hope happens with Star Jacob set. Other than that, in my opinion, it really just doesn't make any sense to start him. Uh, let's see if we can find any more comments from Ron Rivera. Like I said, I haven't watched a Ron Rivera press conference in like two months, bro. I just don't care what he has to say. Um, so I haven't watched anything that he said. Ron Rivera. Uh, also, if y'all know, Jared Patterson is back on the team. Hopefully, my guy JP, y'all know I'm a big Jared Patterson fan. Hopefully, he can find a way to get back on that field. Man, JP definitely deserves to play in this league. Um, Ron says, uh, if Howe's play lately changed how he feels about him as a quarterback, no, it doesn't. And he, he's a, he's got a very good body of work. It's been tough the last couple weeks. The, the length of the season is probably wearing on him as well as the number of plays he's had, uh, number of plays he's had and the number of hits he's absurd. Okay, Ron, I mean, he's in the NFL. What do you mean the length of the season has probably got to him? He's in the NFL. He's a starting quarterback. He knew what he was getting himself into. Again, making the change this late in the season doesn't mean anything. But I'm not going to continue to beat that dead horse. Uh, Ron says somehow this is a part of the growth of Sam How This is an indictment of Sam. I don't get how he can grow from being benched uh, the last two weeks from being pulled and then now being benched for the finals weekend. I don't understand how he'll grow from this. I really don't. The only way he can grow is by playing. And you already killed him. It's very unfortunate because I remember coming into the season, one thing that I held my, my, my head high on, I was like, man, what, what's different about this year, in my opinion, is that I, I see a lot of the fans. We all are on this Sam Howell train. Now, there were a couple of guys that didn't believe in Sam Howell. But for the most part, a lot of us believe in Sam Howe. But what's sad is a lot of those guys that believe in Sam Howe now have flipped, have has changed, which I'm not saying you can't. Well, it's just it's just sad because it's like, man, it's not his fault. Does he have does he have faults in it um at some type of times because he's missing throws, he's taking sacks, he's uh, you know, doing what a twenty three year old second year quarterback would do, yeah. But for the most part, I, it's, I think it's more this. I think it's the situation around him more so than anything else than him himself. Because he's going to mess up. He's twenty three, bro. My question to the people that want to draft a quarterback, and again, I'm not, I'm not mad at you if you do. I'm not mad if they decide to draft a quarterback. I'm all for whatever they want to do. But for the people that want to draft a quarterback, let's say we draft Jaden Daniels. Jaden Daniels comes in and has the same kind of season Sam Howe does. Are y'all going to turn on him after one year? Are y'all going to be like, oh, we shouldn't have drafted him. It's time to draft another quarterback. Or are y'all going to be behind him just because he's the first round pick? I'm just curious. Because in my opinion, and I haven't watched a lot of Jaden Daniels, but how many of y'all believe he can? he's ready to start day one? And I understand he won the Heisman. He was really good at LSU. But do you think he's really ready to start day one? I don't know. We'll see. But... That's just my question to you all for the people that want to draft a quarterback. If, if he comes in and struggles the same way as Sam Howell struggled, are y'all going to give up on him too? Or it's just because, oh, Sam Howell's a fifth-round pick. I don't see it in him. Um, he's, he's a backup quarterback. I'm just curious. But, hey, man, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. I just want to drop that quick video on y'all. Jacoby said we'll now be starting the final two games of the season. It sucks in my opinion because he has a better chance at this point to win, and we don't need to be winning. We need to be losing so we can get better draft capital, and that and that sucks because I hate having that mentality. But it, it it's for what it's it's for the better, in my opinion. It's really no point. It's empty calories to win these final two games. It, it really makes no sense. But hey, let me know what y'all think by in the comment section. As always, me and boy, why got it? Y'all have a blessed one. See y'all later. I'm out.